all right hello it's your boy dan stabber here back with a little bit of the wolf among us episode two season one we got some questions for holly grin yeah take off for a bit would you are you sure Mm -mm -mm. I don't know that much about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Aren't you guys talking? not talking it seems so fucking petty now but i just i didn't want to watch it with her i think she was off the monday drugs but what? she was hooking to pay down debt it ain't me up to see her that way eventually the only people she owed were at her work you know that shithole club the pudding and pie what a terrible name for a strip the owner club. georgie with all his fucking fees it's a crock of shit that's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. Huh. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um... Is there anything? She said Georgie. No, I should have said Georgie. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need. Is Georgie the pimp? Charity. It's not charity. It's looking up for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's it's a kind of. It's a formality with trolls. Holly, Lily's the best evidence we have right now. We can't surrender her body till I know it can't help the case anymore. This is really important to me. And the investigation well, is important to we everyone. We gotta find out who killed her. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. When you come back to the office, Georgie, please try to make more of an effort with her. Just do it for me. It makes everything easier. I mean, I kind of tried to, but Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. That's who we're looking for. That sounds like that was the name of the guy that runs the place. To the pudding and pie. We go. Alright, hopefully there's no nudity in here. If there is, I'm just gonna have to sum up what happens. No one telltale, they might just do that. Oh. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. Yeah, I wouldn't come You're to a place like welcome, this. Of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or well, both? Some questions I've got for some Georgie. questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that... Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I have a way It'll with people. Fine. I have a way with people. Mm -hmm. So I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. I'm not gonna Your say Your imagination anything. is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee.
What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Do I have to say it? Hey. Hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. For fuck's sake. You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Oh, I'm here to ask you a few questions. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. What the hell does that You'd even prefer mean? prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Fuck you, Georgie. Fuck you, Georgie. It's the big bad wolf. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Do you now? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when... It's illegal! Watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that look out at the, of my face. Look at the picture. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Damn, Anyway, okay. now what to do with me? Fuck this guy. No music, yeah. I have it turned off. I'm gonna turn this fucking shit off. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh no, fuck! Bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. I'm gonna need to edit this a lot, dude. They just straight up showed. Fuck up, Hans. Oh my lord. Hans. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Break it in half. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Smash it. Oh no! You unbelievable prick! 
Hey, no. <laughs> just gonna break everything. Who? Is, who is it? You shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. Look. I'll be George, nice. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Huh. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. In the book. <laughs> oh. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. I think it's a floor I wouldn't safe. know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'll destroy this place, man. Where is this book? You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm just lying about everything, so... Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. Room 207, though. Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Who's that over here at this door? Hello, business office. Open up. Huh. Lock's been busted open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. I don't even know what that shit is. Faith. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Huh. What's over here, huh? Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Oh, she's got a bow around her neck, too.
You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? Huh. You have legs. Kind of glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Oh, seven. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about your guarantee. I need you to cooperate. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. How can she tell? Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. All right. <laughs> what are we doing? Like what? Wait here for a second. What's going on? Did we just? Purchase a not two oh seven. You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. What's going on there? That was interesting. Yeah, that's fucking expensive. So let's say fifteen dollars an hour. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Huh? Oh, uh. You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Looking for the killer. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered 
last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The lady that voices Beauty is the same one that voices Clementine in The Walking Dead. And she also apparently vo uh, voices TJ, uh, the little toad, the kid toad. Never seen Ever Lily, Lily with anybody. Here. Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Hmm. You know Faith? A girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. All right. Well, I think it's time to go up to the room. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be Only ready to five act like I'm minutes. To kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. Oh, do you hear that? What the fuck? I appreciate it. Somebody's going bananas well, right now. Here we are. Which one was it? All right, um, I'm going to end this episode right here. But as always, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Why wouldn't you do that? Well, uh, we'll see you in the next episode. What is going on? All right, we'll see you.